let's talk about aliens spying on us. Potentially, or cutting off streams, or interrupting internet when I'm about to start exposing them spying on us. <laughs> All right, look at this. Scientists find 29 planets where aliens could be watching us. We are potentially being watched by out-of-this-world life, scientists say. All right, now that's pretty dope. Scientists have identified 1,715 star systems where aliens could have discovered Earth by observing our planet's transit. And within that, 29 planets could be habitable and are uniquely positioned to watch us and pick up on our broadcast transmissions. Great. <laughs> uh, so that means they're going to be... They know what we're transmitting out there. All right, now, I'm not worried about them watching my show. But, I mean, I see some of this ridiculous stuff on TikTok and the in just the internet in general. I mean, the internet's a crazy place. Who are we kidding, right? Come on. Internet's a crazy place. Uh, let's see. The Guardian has also notes uh, that 46 of those star systems are also close enough to pick up on our radio and TV broadcasts. Even worse, great. They're going to see watch fake news and be like, that place is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Someone in chat just said only 29? That's crazy. That's a crazy amount. What? One would have been amazing. Two would have been amazing. 29? That's incredible. Humans started intentionally sending radio signals into space to try to contact other forms of life around the 20th century. Hmm. Now scientists say if alien life is intelligent. Uh, is intelligence enough? You mean intelligent? The hill. My goodness. Come on, hill. If alien life is intelligent enough, they could be eavesdropping on us. They could be. I think they are. Come on. You think aliens? I think there's aliens out there that'd be smart enough to, you know, spy on us. Yeah. Why not? One way we find planets is if they black out part of the light from their host star. Lisa Kalta uh, Nezer, professor of astronomy and director of Cornell's University's uh, Carl Sagan Institute, told The Guardian, we asked, who would we be the, who would we be the aliens for if someone else was looking? Okay. There is this tiny sliver in the sky where other star systems have a cosmic front seat to find Earth as a transiting planet. Hmm. Astronomers here on Earth have been able to detect thousands of planets in the solar system, mainly by observing them when other planets pass in front of the host stars and block some of the light through the telescope. Uh, Kaltenezer, uh, published her findings along with J.K. Ferretti in the journal Nature. With thousands already detected, our search is entering a new era of discovery with upcoming large telescopes that will look for signs of life with atmospheres of transiting worlds, the researcher wrote. Uh, Kaltenezer and Ferretti, an astrophysicist at the Museum of uh, Muse American Museum of Natural History, used the Gaia catalog from the European Space Agency to position stars and motions to figure out which stars are in the Earth's transit zone, according to the Guardian. For instance, the star Ross 128 is about 11 year light years away and has a planet nearly twice the size of Earth. Researchers say that life on that planet is close enough to observe Earth that could have been doing it for more than 2,000 years. But the planet did not lose its vantage point uh, about not. Oh, excuse me, the planet did lose its vantage point around 900 years ago. We want to use the closest stars, said Faraday, uh, told NPR, when it comes to exploring worlds, the nearest one to us are going to be the most exciting. Okay, I gotta say, the hill, my goodness. That was some, that was some rough writing. Um, I don't normally read from the hill. I just read this article and I, oh, I thought it was really cool that we were, could you know they have planets being spied on but i don't feel like they pump out so many articles i don't think their <laughs> editing process is is the best um anyway very cool gonna be looking at that really excited about that 